Hey, this is Jake from Markham Tech. This is your Tech Tip of the Week. Hey everybody, Jake over at Markham Technologies. I want to talk to you about using the Waypoint function on your Markham RT9. So you have the ability to enter waypoints into your RT9. So let's say your buddy's out on the lake, uh, wants to give you some waypoints, or if you take a waypoints off of the internet or a different system that you have, you can manually enter them into the RT9 here. And how you do that, I have an RT9 here. Uh, my Navionics map is pulled up. I do have a Navionics chip inserted into uh, the tablet, so that's why we're able to view the contour lines. But in the top right hand corner, you are going to see a settings button. You're going to hit that settings button and on the left hand side of the screen, there is going to be a menu uh, that comes up and you're going to want to select waypoints. And as you can see, I already have a couple waypoints entered in here, but my buddy was out of Mille Lacs and gave me some of his waypoints uh, so I can go there next weekend and uh, get on some fish. So I'm going to teach you how to enter those waypoints. And under that waypoints uh, menu option, you're going to have a create a waypoint. So we are going to enter that. And then there's three different types of coordinates that you can enter. You can enter decimal degrees, degrees, minutes, seconds, or just normal latitude and longitude. So he gave me his coordinates in decimal degrees, and we're going to enter that waypoint right here. So at the top, I'm going to select latitude, and that is going to bring up a menu option where I can enter the coordinates that he gave me. And then I'm going to go down to longitude. We're going to go negative 93.682. And then what I'm do done entering that waypoint, I'm just going to hit the done button right here. And then I'm also going to hit save waypoint. And that's going to bring you back to your waypoints menu. And you can see that waypoint uh, is saved as waypoint number six. So if we want to view that waypoint, you're just going to hit the waypoint. You can rename it, change the color of that waypoint, go to waypoint, or show waypoint and these two the go to waypoint and save waypoint um, I would use the go to waypoint let's say uh, I get to the landing I want to go to that waypoint I would hit go to waypoint and then it would draw an arrow directly to that waypoint and show me which way I need to go uh, the show waypoint let's say I would use that if I'm scouting a uh, trip uh, prior to the trip, let's say I'm sitting on my couch, uh, scrolling through contours, uh, you know, what have you, whatever you're looking for. Uh, you dropped a waypoint a couple weeks ago, want to go back and look at that, you can use show waypoint and it'll bring up that waypoint uh, and you can look at that. So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to hit show waypoint and that's going to bring me to this waypoint that we just created uh, from my buddies. Coordinate. So I'm going to zoom out. Looks like that's just off of a flat out on Mille Lacs. So let's say uh, I get to the lake. I'm looking to get to a waypoint. Uh, I'm looking to get to this waypoint. Looks like I dropped uh, a couple weeks ago. I'm going to get back into my waypoints menu. That's waypoint 11. I'm going to find waypoint 11 and I'm just going to hit go to waypoint. And as you can see on the screen, there is an arrow going to waypoint 11. Uh, I'm not on the lake yet, so it looks like it's uh, a long, long ways away uh, from here. But if I get to the lake, that's what it's going to look like when you hit go to waypoint. Uh, after that, uh, you know, how I would use it out on the lake if I'm going to create a waypoint, let's say we're out on uh the lake here we're fishing over here uh, just off of this flat looks like i got a couple waypoints on here uh, but we're just at the bottom of this flat right here want to create a waypoint that's a good uh, piece of structure that we want to come back to all you need to do is hold your finger down on the touch screen here and it's going to drop a waypoint it is that easy to create waypoints uh, if you do have any more Waypoints questions, feel free to visit us at MarkhamTech.com.